Okay, so we have a lot of bees here. <laughs> um, and they're pretty adorable. Very docile. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get everyone to go in their homes. Um, what we should maybe do is uh, try and get these guys to go in the hive as well. Can I help you? Here, I'll hold it and you brush. So, um, what we're doing is we're going to try and just get as many to go down in because these are obviously uh, nurse bees. They're just kind of doing stuff up here. They're not out foraging. They're not out doing their orientation flights. So that means they need to stay in the hive. Uh, so if we can get as many as possible in the hive, that'd be super duper. Because we don't want to lose them. And since we're going to open more than one hive, and since they are close to each other, we don't really want them to get confused and go in the wrong house. So, just high enough to tilt it forward to where a little more air can go in but not necessarily make it into a new entrance no one wants to go in okay well that's okay we can help that so let's go ahead and open up they're very calm It's not too hot of a day. It's not even 90, but they really gummed it up here. This is really good for boo-boos. Jeremy has one on his hand, but he doesn't believe me. Anyways, <laughs> so let's go ahead and give them a little more smoke, just a little. Actually, Jeremy, can you do me a big favor and go get me an extra uh, deep so we can stack on? Thanks, dude. Uh, right in the door. frame hanger and our frame grip. Both I like a lot. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this frame here. The warm weather helps make it easier. Thanks dude. You just put that right there and we can stack things on top of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this one, like so. Okay. I'm going to bring it a little closer. I hope my camera actually focuses. 
this is pretty much what you'd expect in the top box of the hive, especially this time of year. It's all honey. Uh, capped on the top, uncapped on the bottom. Nurse bees working, doing the damn thing. Same thing on this side, but we're all uncapped. This is great. Um, we're still going to look for the queen, but she's probably not up here because there's nowhere for her to lay. So let's just go ahead and give it a once over. Looks good. And what you look for, my friend Scott also told me this, when you're looking for the queen, you just kind of scan from left to right and look for a bee that's moving differently than the others. Most of the time, it's a fat drone being ridiculous. But sometimes, it's the queen. Everyone's just kind of working, filling cells. If you'll double check, that'd be super. Okay, I'm actually gonna go get a couple more supers while he double checks, I'll be right back. So welcome to the Jeremy Show. Don't really see what. Not on this side, at least. No queen. one on top of the other and what we're gonna do here is just since we're changing to the new fabulous green hives we're gonna put the new ones in there and we're gonna try and go fast because it's not hot but it's not cool either so there this one's gonna go on top then we're gonna put the second frame or box rather and go like that so let's keep going side of the frame you can see here a drone cell capped and these are all drone cells they are a little bit bigger um, hopefully not indicative of a swarm so let's go ahead and look for the queen just in case they're probably just back filling it with nectar Where is that yeah. there's another one on the other side too and can I see if there's eggs There is eggs. There is a frame with two eggs in it, uh, which can be indicative of a laying worker, right, Jeremy? Um, if you'll look right there, just there, point right about the oh, right about there. There's a cell with two eggs in it. I doubt you can see it, but just in case, where that bee is by itself. So that's not good. So she could be here. We don't have an excluder on, so. Keep looking. All right, I don't see her. Do you see her? Hope not. does in fact have some brood, uh, some older brood, so at least 15 days old, right? 
but uh, probably older than that. And this is being backfilled with some nectar. Again, you see some larger drone cells. So what I want to do is look for eggs, or is it all being backfilled? Because generally, uh, the clues of the queen are uh, young brood and uh, eggs in the cells. So it kind of helps you find her. I think that uh, this is like the hardest game of Where's Waldo ever, because just like in the Where's Waldo books, there's always a bunch of people in that striped shirt, just like Waldo. It's so frustrating. Very propolized, so you can see the generalized pattern, honey, maybe some pollen, and then brood, but they're filling it all in with honey, preparing for the winter. And now I'm looking for eggs. I see some eggs in the bottom, but those are not drone cells. Those are worker cells. So a bit of a sporadic pattern. This could be, uh, and most likely is, indicative of the fact that they have varroa. You get a very sporadic pattern with Varroa. Uh, but this day and age, everybody's got Varroa. What are you going to do? I haven't seen deform wing virus yet. But we will. We had Varroa mites on our bottom board. We'll have that too. And I see some eggs again in the bottom. Um, but... You can blow on them a little bit to make some room. I don't see eggs. Okay. So, again, uh, lots of drones is indicative of a possible swarm. Okay, if you look, you can see a bee emerging. Right where I blew. See that? I hope my camera is focusing because that is adorable. Uh, interesting fact, emerging workers do not get assistance. They cut their way out and they come out all on their own and get to work shortly thereafter. And as you can see, get stepped on a little bit. Whereas drones, they get helped out. Gosh, they're just like stepping on her. Drones get helped out and fed via trophallaxis pretty much immediately. They get cut out and pulled out and fed. It's, it's a good life. Until the end, of course. Because, uh, you know. Oh, look, there's another emerging one. This is good. I hope the camera sees it. Okay, I'm going to put this back so I can keep helping. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and we'll do another one that shows a, a lower down deep with the brood pattern. So this, Jeremy, uh, this is weird. I got one egg in the middle of nowhere. One egg in the middle of nowhere, sporadic laying pattern? Not good. I'll check it out. Stay tuned. 